Well, welcome to your weekly wisdom. Uh, today we're thinking about this topic. How does wisdom make our relationships more healthy, make our relationships better? If something would make all your relationships better, wouldn't you pursue it? Well, that's what wisdom will do. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 3, beginning in verse 27, and I'm going to read through verse 31. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you then, when you already have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustingly beside you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have not done harm to you. And then finally, do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways. All kinds of lessons here. Let me draw out a few from the passage and just think about these for your relational world. Here's the first one. If somebody deserves good, then do it for them if you can. And do it as quick as you can. If there's something that you could do that would extend goodness to another person, take advantage of that moment. The next insight from this passage, this is found in verse 28. Don't delay or postpone the good things you can do. Man, it's so easy to procrastinate. It's so easy to make excuses. Well, I was going to help that person. Well, I was going to do that. Well, I, I, I meant to tomorrow. We can always push it off one more day, but one more day often means never. So when you can do something good for someone, do it now. Act on it now. And here's the next insight. This is found in verse 29. Don't plot harm on others. That seems like a funny one. You know, when, when wisdom says don't plan, don't plot harm for someone else, we all, our immediate response is, I would never do that. I, I sit around plotting harm for others, but check your brain. Check the, the scenarios you play out in your mind. When somebody, when somebody, and I, I'm going to give a confession here, when I'm driving on the freeway and someone drives around me really crazy, I mean really fast, they pull it right behind me and then, and, and then they go around me in a real reckless sort of a manner and, I, and then I watch and they do that with two or three other cars forward. I always just stop and pray for God's blessing on them. No. You know, if I start thinking, it'd be kind of nice in about three or four minutes to see them pulled over by a cop. I don't want to run off the road, but, but maybe just for, for driving the way they're driving, it'd be nice if they got a ticket. I mean, I start plotting in my mind something for them that would not be the best possible thing. Here's the warning in your relational world. If you find yourself thinking about, boy, I wish that this would happen to them and it's not the best thing, check your mind because you might be plotting something that could be harmful to them. Be careful of that. Verse 30 says, beware of false accusations. When you talk about somebody else, don't make accusations that are false. And, and if you make an honest accusation, talk to them face to face. But be careful that you're not speaking about somebody else in a false way. It's damaging. It's hurtful. And here's the last insight. This is kind of a unique one. But have a realistic view of others. In verse 31, Proverbs says, don't envy the violent. Here's the point. When you look at somebody else's life and they're getting away with stuff or doing things, or whether it's violent or whether it's greed or whatever it is, it's working out pretty well for them. And in our minds, we start to envy them. We may find ourselves walking down that road, a road we don't want to walk down. So if you're watching somebody else, if you see people in the media and you say, oh man, they have it so good. I'm not sure you know that they really do. Oftentimes on the inside, behind closed doors, there's not those things that appear on the outside to be so good and so wonderful. And so here's the challenge today. If there's something good that you felt prompted to do for someone and you've been procrastinating or putting it off, get to it today. A kind word, an action of service, a, a way you can financially bless somebody. If there's something good you can do to someone and you feel like you should and you haven't gotten to it, get to it today. Will you pray with me? God, our prayer today is, is simple, but it, it's challenging. Our prayer is that we would be better in our relationships with others, that wisdom would guide our relationships, that we guard our words, our actions, our eyes, our minds, that we can become a blessing to each person we encounter. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on you. Have a great day.